Oh, hold on, I'm live now, boom. Uh, okay, sorry, YouTube. Hey friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com. We are live for an easy, super duper easy dinner idea. Let me fix this camera real quick. Okay. So leave a comment, let me know where are you from and what is for dinner tonight? We are having homemade pizza. Um, it's homemade, so it's a little I'm not making the dough from scratch, even though I have done that before, um, but we're making an easy homemade pizza. Today was the first day of school, and it's kind of been a tradition that we always have pizza the night of the first day of school. Um, I don't know why, it just is. So normally we'll just eat out, like, or, um, but today I thought I would try just making it home. Because we just went out last night, was it last night? Yeah, last night we went out because of the gotcha day, so I didn't want to go out two nights in a row. So we are going to make homemade pizza sauce on here and I want to show you how easy it is to, to, to throw together homemade pizza. Okay, let's see who's on here, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, we have Teresa and Liz and Tammy making oven and fried ribs, pork chops. We have Natalie from Canada. Okay guys, I am so glad you're here. So, super simple. Now, back in the day when I would make homemade pizza, pizza, I would go to the store and I would buy pizza sauce and it was like almost $4 for a small jar. And for my family size, we would need like two to three of them. So it was $12 just for the sauce. So I decided, forget that, I'm gonna make my own. And then I went online and was looking, looking for, this is pre, eating on a dime, but then I would go online and look for recipes um, for pizza sauce and they were complicated. Who knew? But you had to like mince your garlic, you had to fry it, you had to fry some onions, you had to heat it up, you had to let it cool, no. So I came up with my own pizza sauce recipe and here we are, we've been using this bad boy for most of my children's life. We used to make homemade pizza a lot, um, but now, you, you were having trouble talking today. Yes, I am, I don't know why. But so anyway, now um, we make kind of our homemade, where I don't make the crust homemade as often as I used to, um, but I love the homemade pizza sauce. The great thing about the pizza sauce is you can use it for anything, for marinara, um, and you can make a sloppy joe out of it. Like you can do all kinds of stuff. But let me tell you a tip. Let me grab this. Huh. Okay, let's see. Someone said, I love it when people tell me to leave my hair alone. I'm going to mess with this some more. <laughs> okay, my hair, I washed my hair today. As most of you know, I only wash my hair once to two times a week. In fact, I'm thinking about talking about it on One Crazy Mom, why it's important for you to do that. And But on hair washing day, it just feels so good. It's like soft as butter. Like I just want to play with it. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, let me go back to the pizza sauce. So the great thing about it is when you cook, when you, we're not cooking, guys, the pizza sauce. We're just mixing it up. But when you mix it up, you can put them, I have a silicone cupcake pan, and if you're a part of our free Facebook group, Eating on a Dime Recipes, you can join completely for free. I'll put a link when we get done with this in there. But anyway, you stick this on like a cookie sheet, you spoon your sauce in here, and then you plop this in the freezer for, you know, two to three hours, and then you pop these out into a freezer bag and you have individual pizza sauces. So it's great for if you're gonna have cheese sticks or bread sticks and you wanna dip it in, or if you want um, to make homemade pizza, you can just pull out what you need and you can make a big batch. You can make a quadruple batch and do this huge game changer. So my mission to you is to never buy store-bought pizza sauce again because you're about to see how easy this is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, give me a heart if you guys are ready to see how to make homemade pizza sauce. And then once we're done, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna throw together our little homemade pizzas. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start is a can of crushed tomatoes. I am doing a 20 ounce, 
28 ounce can, but you could totally do two 14 ounces. I think they're 14 or 15. Whatevs. Ugh. Okay, Carrie, why aren't you working? Oh, a couple days ago was Happy Left Handed Day. My sister um, texted me and was like, hey, Happy Left Handed Day. Did anybody know that? Okay. <laughs> I said every time I see someone tell me not to touch my hair, I'm gonna touch my hair. <laughs> I'm such a rebel. Actually, I'm not. I'm a rule follower, but it's my kitchen and my rules. <laughs> so technically, I'm following my rules. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Your recipes are amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Can't figure out why I can't see the comments anymore. Okay, Nita, you probably just need to swipe to the left or the right, Nita, and your comments will come back. And if you want to see, um, oh, man, I am on the struggle bus. I can't even open a can of tomatoes. Uh, okay. I think this is like, I don't know. It's moody at me. So I don't know if you saw my stories, um, but today with my kids, several of the kids had their first day of school today. Super sad. Um, if I told you that I got teary-eyed when I dropped them off, I would be telling the truth. <laughs> okay, so, because I have three kids in junior high, and then after I dropped my kids off, to make matters worse, I had to drive over to my son's orientation, um, which was kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. And I was like, ugh. And then when I left, I realized, oh my gosh, my son is in college, and then I got teary-eyed again. <sighs> So it was emotional <laughs> but anyway um love that big measuring cup this is from pampered chef it's a measuring mixing bowl i never actually use the measuring part but on amazon they have several um with the handle so if you join our free facebook group eating on dime recipes i will link the amazon version if you want it how did it go all the kids had a great day um and my son is a you were holding and turning the can opener wrong. No, I don't think I was. This is how I always hold it. No, that's how I always hold it. It's the Pampered Chef one. Anyway, um, are you using Pampered Chef products? Yes, I have some Pampered Chef products. I sold Pampered Chef. They're just for a smidgen um, all through eating on a dime, but I'm just not, it's just not my thing. It's not my jam. Your children look so cute. Thank you. My children are adorbs. It's so funny because I put it on my Instagram and then somebody messaged me and said that my girl looked just like me. They're both adopted. <laughs> I love it. But my teenager, he's Hispanic and he has long curly hair. And every time people see us together, they think we look just alike. Especially if I have a tan. Or like I always joke around, but like in the winter when he's pastier and I get a spray tan, then people think we look alike because <laughs> we're closer in color. Um, I'm on a live, baby. Okay, how was your gotcha day? The gotcha day was great. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's get going. So all I've done, if you just joined us, we're making homemade pizza sauce. To get the recipe, you just leave a comment and with the word live. I'm not even sure if you need to say live anymore. We'll Facebook message you and say, hey, you just left a comment. Do you want a link to the recipe? You say yes, we'll send it to you. And on YouTube, I'll put a link under the video when this is over with. Or on Facebook, I have the recipes above to the two recipes that I'm talking about tonight. Okay, so let's get going. I'm literally reading off of my own recipe. I just printed it out and I'm doing it. That's how easy it is. Okay, so, so we need some basil. Scoop it in there. To get the recipe, guys, just click the link above the video or you, um, what's it called? Just gonna dump that. That was oregano in there. Um, or you can click the link in the video or leave a comment and we'll Facebook message you a link. The great thing about it when we Facebook message you a link is you'll be the first to know all the best stuff.
Um, Sierra, you are so sweet. Um, the husband is back to work today, so everybody was back. Everybody was gone. Funny story. Um, I was like, oh, I'm gonna miss my babies, and my kids were like, it's okay. With us gone, you'll have more time to spend with your husband. And I was like, he's a teacher. He goes back to school too. And they're like, oh, well, you're just gonna have to work, mom, <laughs> which is what I did. <laughs> and I found out I'm really far behind on work, so. I've got to take advantage of these days where I'm alone. Okay. Why don't like your kids on there? I don't, Melissa, I'm not sure what you're asking. What can you use for pizza sauce that has tomatoes or tomato product allergy? I'm not sure on YouTube on that question. I'm really not sure. I'd have to do some research if you're allergic to tomatoes. Alternatives, you could always do Alfredo sauce. Okay, so let's get going. Now, we have our basil and oregano in here. We're gonna throw in some onion powder. Oh. I've talked way too much, guys. But you guys know how I am. Like, I'm for real, yo's. For real, yo's. <laughs> this is onion powder. I think I need some more onion powder. It's kinda of getting old. Let's see if we can get some out. There we go. Or it's got like dried. Then we're gonna do, uh, oh, garlic salt. Oh, here it is. Give me a heart, guys, if you can dump some seasonings in a bowl. And then we're gonna do some pepper. Give it a mix and it, oh, I like to do a pinch of sugar, but I, f I forgot to pull out my sugar, so I'll, it'll be okay. You don't have to do a pinch of sugar, but I like to do that. It's supposed to help with the acidity, acidity. You can use Alfredo for pizza sauce for people who have allergies. Okay, yep, that's good. Then once you taste it, you can adjust it if you want. Now, a little trick. If you're running out of stuff and you don't have, I have totally done the onion powder, the garlic salt, and I've just thrown in Italian seasoning. So that's four ingredient pizza sauce. And it's super, super good. My kids love it with breadsticks. My kids love it when we make our homemade cheese sticks. Um, it's really, really good. Okay, so now let me show you. Now remember, you could throw them in here and you could freeze them if you want to. Or you could put them in individual containers. I'm gonna show you how we're going to make pizza tonight. I'm just gonna make one, I'm gonna make mine because the great thing about our individual pizzas is the kids can make them themselves. So I went, I got at the Aldi and I got these little mini pizza crusts, they're thin. They actually come with sauce inside, but I'm kind of a sauce snob now that I make my own. And you guys saw how easy this was. So we're not using the sauce packets, but I wanted to try, I haven't tried out these crusts before, but see, they're thin, um, and so I like that. My kids like a thin pizza. Um, but I've also put a link above for flatbread pizzas. You could use a flatbread, which is totally fun. You could do a pita um, and just throw them on here. The can is, um, I did crushed tomatoes. You could totally do tomato sauce. The reason I do crushed tomatoes is I feel like crushed tomatoes stays on your crust better. I know that sounds weird. I feel like when you do tomato sauce, it gets too thin. So when you have a little bit chunkier crushed tomatoes, um, it kind of stays on there better. Roxanne, I don't have Messenger. It's totally okay. You can click the link above on Facebook. And on YouTube, I'll add the link to the descriptions as soon as we're done. Where is that? Aldi is just a... Um, grocery store chain, but you can also go to your Walmart or your local grocery store and get, you know, they have all kinds, but I'm saying like, think out, these were very inexpensive because Aldi is very inexpensive, but think outside the box. You could do the pitas, you could do the flatbreads. Um, you, I've seen people do tortillas. If you want to do tortillas, you want to crisp them in the oven first before you do it. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of sauce. You just need, you know, well, it depends on your liking. Couple tablespoons, but I like the sauce. Okay. Ta da! See? Look how easy this is. Then I'm going to top it with some mozzarella cheese.
And you get, the thing I like about, instead of making a big pizza and you make the individual pizzas, is all the kids get to make their own. So if one kid wants onions on it, they can have onions on it. If one kid wants pepperoni or sausage, you can make a fun pizza bar. And so it's great for like the weekends or Friday night or movie night. Then I'm gonna do some pepperonis. Cause I like pepperonis on my pizza. Like I could do like a 50 and you could do um, like if it's Valentine's Day, you could do like little hearts on your pizza or if it's um, Christmas, you can do little trees with your pepperonis. Okay, so if you just joined us, we are making homemade pizza sauce or we already made it and I'm just showing you how we're making little mini pizzas. Um, but the, the links are above on the YouTube video or when you leave a comment, I will Facebook message you a link. Okay, so then I'm going to add some tomatoes that I diced up. That's what I like on my pizza. Leave a comment, let me know what do you like on your pizza. Some red onion. And then I always like to put, that's all I'm gonna put on my pizza, but I always like to put cheddar cheese on top, like a little bit because I think it makes it prettier. And I put a little bit more of the mozzarella, just a smidgen, because it helps the, all the like toppings stick, like it melts together. And then, um, oh, I have Parmesan. Because you know, I'm fancy like that. I'm not really. And then, I personally, because I'm a weirdo, love garlic salt. So I sprinkle a little bit garlic salt on top of my pizza. Sometimes I do it right after it's done, but it just gives it that zip. Done. Give me a heart if you can make this. Mushrooms, onions, olives, peppers, woohoo! Jalapenos and red pepper flakes, yum, Greg. Rhonda likes chicken and artichokes. Rhonda, you are braver than me. Pepperoni and green peppers, yum. Okay, so pizza is, if I had to pick one food to eat for the rest of my life, it would be pizza. I love pizza. I'm like a 12 year old at heart. Um, and this is a super fun way to make it. So everybody on here who's watching has to promise me that they're never gonna buy store-bought pizza again. They could, um, sorry, I'm reading the comments. Um, because you can make it in literally two minutes. It took me longer to pull out the spices than it did for me to make it. So. Leave a comment if you're gonna make this. And if you do, join our free Facebook group, Eat on a Dime Recipes, and then post in a picture, because I would love to see me. It amazes me that there has to be a video on how to make this. <laughs> Kelly, I know it's so easy. It's not even really a recipe, it's so easy. Okay, you guys have, what is today? A Thursday, jeez. Oh, it's Thursday. That means tomorrow's Friday. You guys have a great Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow around 10 a.m. We're going to go live for our Freezer Friday. And my sis is going to be here. So it'll be a lot of fun. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.